Hey, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be going through all of my beauty trash. And wow, do I have a healthy pile sitting in front of me. I haven't done an empties video in probably like six months. It's been a long time. So I have a very healthy mix of makeup, skincare, and hair care that I want to share with you guys. This is like the real deal here. This tells you exactly what I use the most of and you know what I love on a daily basis and what you know what I repurchase all of that stuff so that's what we're doing digging through the trash if that sounds interesting to you please be sure to stick around however if you're just now stumbling across my channel and you're not already subscribed if you like empties if you like product reviews first impressions declutters all kinds of stuff I do all kinds of makeup content over here on my channel if you're into that, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, that way you're notified when I upload. Let's get into this trash. Okay, let's kick it off with hair care, because that's the one area that I have the least of. And I'm thinking it's because I was throwing things away. Sometimes I forget that I have an empties trash can, like I have a, a trash can set aside just for empties. And when I'm in the bathroom, you know, showering and whatnot, I have a habit of throwing things in that trash can. So this isn't even all of it. This is just what I remembered to throw in the empties bin. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is a product that I love so very much and it's really hard to get a hold of. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. This is something that Briogeo comes out with right around Christmas time. Actually, they did a special release just recently where they had these on their website and I oh God, I wanted to buy them so bad. I think I had two in my cart. But they're like $34 a piece. So in that moment, I had to ask myself, do I want to spend $68 on conditioner? And the answer was no, I did not. <laughs> but I love this stuff. This is a fantastic conditioner. You know, when the wintertime rolls around, I'll purchase another one. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it recently. But th I love this. This is probably my favorite, all-time favorite conditioner. It smells so good. It's got that honey like scent to it. It just smells rich. It makes my hair so soft. I love the way it smells after and you know, I love it. The next thing that I'm sharing with you is something that I also repurchase all the time. This is the Moroccan oil treatment and it's like their little miniature version. If you guys have watched empties videos here before my channel, then this is nothing new. Actually, a lot of this stuff you're going to see repeats. Um, but I buy this all the time because it does wonders for dry hair. If you're somebody with overprocessed hair, or just dry hair in general, you got to give this a try. It is fantastic. The next thing is from Bedhead. This is called Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray. This is wonderful. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is very pricey, but I bought this at TJ Maxx, I want to say. Maybe I didn't, but I know I didn't pay full price for this. I feel like I got this on a really good discount. Uh, but it's wonderful. It does a great job holding your hair. It definitely adds shine. I think I even bought like a miniature version of this because this lasted me like a year and a half. It's massive, uh, but it's a fantastic hairspray and I love it. And then last but not least of my hair care empties is the Verb Ghost Hair Mask. This is like a little sample. This led me to buy the full size. I have the full size in my bathroom now. Love this. It's a great conditioner. Actually, I like to mix this with the regular Briogeo Don't Despair. And I feel like doing that creates a nice little cocktail of a deep conditioning mask. So, I love it. So, let's now move into the makeup portion. Okay, so the first thing that I'm sharing with you is the Laneige... I think this is like their sleeping lip mask. This was just a little sample size that I got a long time ago. And I didn't use this necessarily when I went to bed. I would use it during the day when my lips got really dry. And it was, it's wonderful. This is such a, an amazing product. I don't really agree with the price tag, which is why I'm not going to purchase it. Um, but, you know, I really did enjoy this when I had it. So I used her up. I just realized I threw away a lot, actually, a lot of products. Because I had, geez, I've gone through probably 10 or more eyebrow pencils since the last empties that I did, and I've got none in here to show you. So, man, I really wish I would have remembered to keep all those. I threw away a lot. Anyway, the next product that I'm sharing with you is the Jouer. Uh, oh, God, I thought I was going to save myself because I have, I have a new one already. I think this is their Essential Lip Enhancer, something like that. But this is a wonderful, 
Ooh, let's hit myself in the eyeball. This is a wonderful lip balm. Not only does it make your lips feel nice and moisturized, this really does help to make them more full. I thought that that was a crock of shit when I first heard the claims on this. And, you know, I bought it because I heard other people rave about it a long time ago. And I started using it like it suggests. I think it says to use, like, use it twice throughout the day, every day for 30 days or something like that. I think I might have just made that up. Anyway, it really does work. I love it. And I've continually repurchased this product. I have another one. Um, I can't even tell you how many I've bought, you know, before this one. So I swear by it. I love it. The next makeup product is the Nakia Joy Setting Powder. This stuff is fantastic for oily skin. It smells like vanilla. It's very smoothing. It does a wonderful job keeping your skin matte, keeping those oils in check. I actually already bought a replacement for it that I use. I don't use it as much now as I did because I've been hooked on the Huda Beauty setting powder for a while, but I really do enjoy this. It's a fantastic setting powder for oily skin, so that's why I used it. Speaking of Huda Beauty, I also used up an entire container of that. Your girl can go through some setting powder, okay? Again, this is my holy grail, number one setting powder at the moment. It just does such a good job smoothing, blurring, mattifying, making my makeup wear all day long. So I already bought a backup of this. Y'all know I did, and I love it. Okay, the next thing up is just this little tiny sample. This is from Stila, and it was, again, a little sample of Kitten Karma. You guys remember when these were all the hype? Everybody had to have the Stila Glittering Glow, and it's just all dried out. And they're real, I mean, it's so tiny anyway. You could get, like, maybe four or five uses out of it, and then it was no good, so... It mostly just dried up. I don't even think I used it all. It's, it's just dried up and I can't use it anymore. So it's beautiful nonetheless. You know, they, Stila was kind of one of the first brands to pioneer the glittery liquid shadows, the ones that, that really, you know, caught your eye and were breathtakingly beautiful. But she's trash now. Next up, the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. You guys aren't surprised, I'm sure. If you've been here for a while, you guys know that I use this every single day. Matter of fact, the one that I'm using right now is almost empty as well. So that just goes to show you how often I use this product. Holy Grail status. I use it every morning before I go to work. It's the one primer that really does the most. If you have oily skin and you're looking and big pores and you're looking for something to smooth, mattify, prolong your makeup, I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with this primer. It is magic in a bottle. Next up, to tail along, you know what's really funny, okay? If you guys watched my um, getting ready with me for work video that I just uploaded recently, I shared these three products with you. The Huda Beauty Setting Powder, the Oil and Shine Control, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is another one of those things that I use every single morning before I go to work. It is the triple threat for keeping your skin matte. Um, keeping your makeup on all day long. If you use those three products in combination with one another, your base is going to last you all day. I don't care how oily your skin is. Um, that's the only thing that I can get to wear all day on me. So it's a no wonder I went through all these products and I own them again. I repurchased all three. Next up, the Charlotte Tilbury Air, Air Bleh. <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Now there's a little bit left in here. I mean, maybe like a pump or two. But it's kind of old at this point, so I just went ahead and, and threw it in the trash. But I come on now, I used almost all of it. You guys can see that. This is a fantastic foundation. Another one that's really good for oily skin. It's very full coverage. It's very mattifying. Um, you kind of have to be a little bit careful because it, it has the tendency to bunch in those lines. You kind of want to make sure that you're not putting it on too thick, but it's still a fantastic foundation, so... That's why I used it all. The next two products are the same thing. The Benefit Gimme Brow. Again, staple eyebrow products. I use this every morning before work in conjunction with other eyebrow products. So that's why I have two of them in here. And I guarantee I went through more than just two. It's just the two that I saved. Then we have two fragrance products. And I, have, I feel like this is also something that I, I had more of. I must have thrown them in the trash. The YSL Mon Paris. I bought the bigger version of this when, I think when Sephora had their sale. Is that when I bought it? I know I bought it on sale because that shit's expensive. Um, but this is one of my absolute favorite scents. It's very feminine. It smells kind of 
fruity and florally and just it just smells beautiful so again I do have the full size but this is the little little travel spray and then I also had the Kenzie so pretty fragrance this one just smells like vanilla um, but it's very beautiful and feminine and soft and I did buy the full size one of this as well okay the last of what I have to share with you in this video is skincare products and it is a pile so Let's just go ahead and jump right on into it. The first thing I'm sharing with you is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble, the Daily Conditioning Cleanser. This is not something that I used on my face, maybe like a couple times when I first got it. This was a product that I got in a BoxyCharm legitimately like two years ago, maybe even longer than that. I've had this for a very long time. So I'm sure you can imagine why I didn't want to put it all over my face. However, this made a fantastic um, brush cleanser, beauty blender cleanser. So that's what I used it for. And it came in, in handy to use it that way. So that's why, that's why it's gone. The next product is also a brush cleanser, but this is like an actual makeup brush cleanser. Um, this is just the Equate brand. I think it's like Walmart brand. This one was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I, I much preferred the Glam Glow for cleaning my brushes and sponges, but you know, it did the trick and I used it all up. Okay, I have several toners in here. The first one is from Clinique. This is their clarifying lotion, their number three. So this one's supposed to be for oily skin. Did I say oily? <laughs> oily. <laughs> this is freaking massive. Do you see how big this is? I feel like this might be like the second bottle I had like this. I used it a lot. I mean, we're talking, how many ounces is this? 16.5 fluid ounces. That's a lot of product. I feel like it took me about a year, maybe more, to use this up. There's still like one pump left, but I'm not really into this type of product anymore because I feel like it, it strips your skin a little bit. It can make your face overly dried, but I did really enjoy it when I was using it. I've just kind of graduated to different products, so I don't use it anymore. I didn't repurchase it. Okay, the next thing is from Odacite, California. And this is their Blue Aura Turmeric and Holy Basil Cleansing Water. Again, I got this in a boxy charm, and I wanted to use it up. I mean, it smelled kind of good. It was blue. My daughter told me it smelled like Kool-Aid. I didn't really see that. I think maybe she was thinking about, like, blue raspberry Kool-Aid, because that's the color of it. But it did a really good job. It's like a cleansing water, like a micellar water. It did a good job removing makeup. Um, taking off, you know, if I cleanse, taking off the last bit of dirt, makeup, whatever. So I did really like it, but I, I believe this is like a 20 some dollar cleansing water. No, not, not this girl. I wasn't about to buy another one. I, I didn't need something that fancy. So I used it and then that's that. Okay. The next one is from Ole Henriksen. This is their Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. I received this one from Influencer and Ole Henriksen. And I really, really liked this. It's a little pricey, so that's why I didn't go out of my way to purchase it again. And because I'm using Curology and a couple of other, you know, facial treatments. But I did really enjoy this. And I feel like it did help to lighten the dark spots just a little bit. Listen, I have yet to find a product that gets rid of my dark spots 100%. I've got a lot of discoloration and dark spots on my face from the sun. I haven't found anything to totally get rid of them, so... This helped a little bit, and I did like it. I just, I'm cheap, and I'm, you know, I'd rather spend my money on makeup. <laughs> the next thing is also from BoxyCharm. This is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleansing Toner. <sighs> Mouthful. With Moringa and Papaya. I kind of like this. This was really good at, you know, after I fully cleansed, I would go over my face with this. And I didn't feel any stinging or... Any kind of sensation that really made me know that it was working, but it's like I knew it was working. I don't know how to explain that, but I just felt cleaner after I used it. I just didn't get those nasty, like, stinging side effects or anything like that from it. So I really enjoyed this. I thought it did a good job going over my face after, you know, cleansing. So I used it all up. I didn't repurchase it, though. I, th I feel like that that's also another pricey product. Um, I just got done telling you guys about Curology. I use this almost every night when I remember to. Fantastic product. It has really helped with my texture. It helps with the fine lines and wrinkles. It's not a miracle worker. It's not going to get rid of all those deep set lines. Nothing's going to do that. Botox can't even get rid of the deep set lines. So Curology is just one of those things where if you want to prevent further damage to your skin, if you want to, you know, 
help your skin look more youthful in the moment, prolong the way it looks right now, I highly recommend Curology. So I've got many empties of those. I just threw the rest away. So I went through quite a few cleansing balms. I've got two of the Green Clean from Pharmacy. This is my favorite, my all-time favorite. I've got two right now in my cabinet. One is the original like this, the Green Clean. The other one is the Apple Cleansing Balm. It's like a limited edition one that they came out with. Um, and I just wanted to try it because it was apple scented. It smells really nice. This is their smaller version. Excuse you. My cat just came busting in my room like he owns the place. Are you satisfied? Did you eat your dinner? Are you happy now? Yeah? Anyway, this is definitely my favorite cleansing balm. And I will continue to repurchase. It's just pricey, man. But it lasts me quite a while. Like, the, the bigger version... I think is like $34 or $32, but it'll last me probably like two months or so. So I can't be too mad at it. It's, it's not bad. And it does a great job getting rid of all that makeup that I have on. Like it really eats through that makeup. Um, and then I have a little like sample size of the Good Molecules um, Instant Cleansing Balm. So again, gets rid of the makeup. This one I don't like quite as much as the pharmacy one, but it's still pretty good. And when I run out of the two that I have in my closet, I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one just because it's going to save me a lot of money. I'm just tired of spending so much money on things like that. Like, I really don't, I don't need to be so bougie. I need it to, like, scale it back a notch. Okay, we also have my beloved Lancome Genifique. This stuff is liquid gold. <laughs> it just does such a good job with making your skin look radiant. It's a serum, by the way. Right after I get done cleansing and toning, I put on this bad boy. And it makes my skin really radiant. It helps with the fine lines and wrinkles. I'm not sure if it does anything for dark spots. But I'm telling you, if I don't use this, my skin just doesn't look as good. I don't know how else to explain it. But there's a noticeable difference from when I'm using this and when I run out of it. So, I stay with it. I've got one right now that I'm using, and I've got a backup in the drawer. Now, every time I've purchased that recently, I've got it buy one, get one. If you guys know anything about this serum, this bottle right here, I think, is like $105. It is super expensive, okay? But if you get it buy one, get one, you're spending 50 bucks per bottle, which is not bad. If you know anything about, like, luxury serums or high-end serums, that's not a bad price. So I highly recommend waiting until the Lancome's actual website has a buy one, get one deal, and then buy some then. It is so well worth it to get it then, which is what I've been doing. So hopefully I can catch, you know, I can get some on the next round. I still have quite a bit that I need to go through before I'm, I'm all out. So anyway, y'all, I don't spend full price on hardly anything anymore. I wait for a sale, unless it's a brand new release, like a brand new eyeshadow palette. And even then I'm using an influencer code or... A welcome code of some sort like I very very seldom pay full price for anything okay the last of what I have to share with you guys is all moisturizers we have a little sample size of the belief moisturizing eye balm sorry about that like all the, the wording is starting to rub off um, I can't remember where I got this or I, it was probably a gift with purchase from Sephora or maybe I even turned in some points for it I really don't know it's a really nice moisturizer for underneath the eyes but I have like ones that I'm already trying to work through that were either given to me in BoxyCharm. I have an ass ton of samples that I need to go through. So I'm not really repurchasing under eye creams. I'm just working through what I got at this point. But it is nice. The next one is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. So the one that I typically use, oh, and this is like another little sample. It's good. Okay, I liked it okay. But I don't like it as much as the True Cream Aqua Balm. So this is basically for like really dry skin. This one is for really oily skin or just oily skin. There's cat hair floating in front of my face the entire time I'm talking. So if you see me going cross-eyed while I'm sitting here, I'm staring at the cat hair. Anyway, I have two of the True Cream Aqua Balm. This is just my Holy Grail moisturizer. It does such a good job moisturizing my skin, make, making it where it's not dry. It leaves my skin luminous without being oily. And it helps to kind of moisturize, but it doesn't, again, doesn't leave it oily. So I really love this. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend the True Cream Aqua Balm. Um, I had also gotten a little sample size of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. 
Now I used as much as I could of this before I dropped it on the floor and cracked the container. And when I did that, it, it dried out really nasty. So I used well over half of it. You can see how much is gone here. And I liked to use this underneath the eyes. I didn't really use it all over the face because it left my face pretty greasy feeling. I feel like if you have dry skin, this might be holy grail status for you. It's very moisturizing, a little too moisturizing for my liking. So again, underneath the eyes, this was really nice. Last but not least, the Confidence in a Cream from It Cosmetics. So I don't really know why I bothered going through this because I have a full size of this that I'm still trying to work through. Maybe my daughter and I shared this. I can't remember. Um, this is a really good moisturizer for me to use at nighttime. So what I was doing is I was putting on my Curology at night and then I was going back over top of it with the Confidence in a Cream because this is supposed to be like a super cream and it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and all that jazz. So that's what I used it for um, and I was just trying to use it up. That is everything that I remember to save. I don't know. Do you guys like this kind of video? Me digging through my trash, showing you all, you know, everything that I used over the past few months. Let me know down below if you're interested in seeing more of these. If you guys don't like this kind of content, I won't make any more. I mean, I don't really get any real enjoyment out of digging through the trash, but I do think it's kind of interesting to go through and see what I use the most, even though I know. I know what I use the most of. But I like sharing that with you guys because it shows you... Like, when I rave about certain products, when I tell you I love certain products, I'm not just saying it. I really love those products. And this is like, the proof is in the pudding, okay? This is the stuff I have in my trash because I use it all the time. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this video, or you've been enjoying other videos of mine... Tap that subscribe button, ring that notification bell that's right next to that subscribe button, that way you don't miss future uploads, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.